Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I am now 21 weeks pregnant and it is the start of my spring break. I get a week off of work, which means I have a week to catch up on cleaning because I've been absolutely exhausted. I actually just woke up. So it's actually Saturday, March the 9th and it is 12.10 in the afternoon. So I just got up from bed. I've actually been awake since like 8 o'clock when Renee got up and went to work, but I've just laid in bed the whole entire time. But it is going to be a week of catching up on cleaning, decluttering, and getting our den situated because our den looks atrocious. Now when I say atrocious, like you can't even like walk in there. So it's pretty bad, but there's a lot of things that, that I want to get done because I have the week off from work and I think I can get a lot of things done. But the main thing I want to do is declutter my clothes because there's just a lot of clothes that I just don't wear anymore because it doesn't fit me. And it's still winter in like two weeks or so or like a week or so it is going to be spring. And I do plan on purchasing new clothes that will fit me throughout my pregnancy but obviously the clothes that i have right now just don't fit pants wise no jeans fit me other like the only thing that fits me are leggings and maybe my cargo pants but that's about it for pants and that's not a lot and a lot of my t-shirts just honestly don't fit me or just feel really uncomfortable and i just want to be in loose clothing so i want to put all the clothes that I'm currently not wearing in a bin and send it off to my parents place so that is the goal for this week so let's get cleaning before I get myself ready for the day and change out of my pajamas let me show you guys how awful our den is I can't believe We've let it come this far, but we've just been so busy lately. We just haven't had the time to actually pay attention to our den. So let me open this up and just do a reveal. But here is our den. This is so embarrassing, but promise you by the end of this week, it will be so much better. We just have a whole bunch of baby stuff over here. We have Renee's boxes for his records. We have um, our wedding card box over here. And just, it's just a lot going on. This we plan on getting rid of, but... <sighs> It's a lot. It's a lot to deal with. So we've just been closing it up to avoid it. This is legit what pregnancy is just all about. You just can't care to keep up with chores because you're so exhausted. Honestly, I have tried and it just ended with me taking three, four hour naps during the day. So I really just have to take it easy but also if i am not going out if i have nowhere to be i am just not going to get dressed because i just can't care about how i look i just want to be comfortable so i'm just a bit slightly more put together slightly my hair is up and i washed my face but i am wearing renee's shirt because i always just find more comfort in wearing my husband's clothes. So I am wearing one of his favorite shirts and it has been so long since I wore ankle socks and this just feels weird, but I need to go grab my slippers cause you can't be walking around with white socks on.
All I did was have lunch and somehow our kitchen is disgustingly dirty. Our living room is looking very sad. Our couch just looks so slump, so used up. It needs a little fluffing. The pillows need fluffing and everything. Our coffee table is filthy, nasty. Need to wipe that down. And just everything in this area doesn't look too bad, but it can look a little better. So this is what I am going to be working with today. I have my pajamas, pajama pants, my bike shorts, a whole bunch of tops and sweaters. There really is not much organization going on. I've kind of just like given up on it. So I'm going to take all of this out, sort them all and see what I'm not currently wearing. And that's what I'm going to be putting away. Wow. <sighs> Almost there. <sighs> this is what I am saving. This is what I'm going to be packing up. So we just have a few PJ t-shirts, my biker shorts. Um, there's two of them and then I'm wearing one. We've got some low impact bras over here. And then some basic white tank tops and then one, two colored ones. We got one t-shirt, more low impact sports bras and a t-shirt, crop top and another crop top and a long sleeve. So this is just what I'm keeping. Oh, and three pajama pants. This is a top and this knit sweater. I'm still contemplating if I want to put this away, but I think this would be cute during the springtime. So I have more clothes in the den. So I'm going to take all these out, put it on the bed, and once again, sort them out. So a lot of these shirts that I just pulled out, we've got like OVO, we have a Abercrombie, bodysuit which is very random R a random crop top from zara new balance new balance and honestly what is this shirt i know it's a cute shirt what is this oh new balance another new balance t-shirt so these 
are going to be packed away because honestly, generally I just barely wear them. So it's just going to go. Two more biker shorts, a Skims bralette, Halara dress. We have a Old Navy um, workout top and a random top from Zara. So all of this plus these pants as well are going to be packed away. And then this is what I'm keeping. So a lot of things I am keeping I feel like will fit me for like the next two, three months. Hopefully, I do have a few crop tops in here, which I think will be really cute when my bump does get bigger. But a lot of the shirts that I just showed you are pretty oversized. And they used to be Renee's. A few of them used to be Renee's, so I know they're going to fit me for the next few months. But I feel like I'm really narrowing it down. And things are looking pretty good. Now I'm going to go through all of this, which is honestly a disaster half our closet is mine so i just have a whole bunch of sweaters in here and a lot of things hung as well but i think i can get rid not get rid of but put away a lot of these things because honestly i don't use a lot of them so let's get started Just don't even ask me if I actually wear all of this. Right now, I am only keeping four pairs of sweatpants. These used to be Renee's, and these are the only sweatpants that fit me. These ones I actually own, and they're all like a size small, so they don't fit me anymore. So I'm really sad to put those away, but these ones I'm keeping out. I'm actually pretty surprised with the amount of clothes that are going to be put away and that I'm okay with putting away for basically the next year. But I know I have more clothes at my parents' place. And that's just going to have to be for another day because I'm not bringing any of those bins. I probably have like four more bins of clothes at my parents' place. They're just going to stay there. So this is everything that I am going to be putting away, putting into bins, and sending off to my parents' place. I can fit so many sweaters into one bin. This is probably the same amount of sweaters that Renee has in his bin. Look at the amount of space that I have. So this part over here was like filled with a blanket and my hoodies and all that stuff. That is now completely gone. I'm gonna send all those blankets to my parents' place. Everything can just move around so nicely. I have so much space here with like so many extra hangers. And then at the top, I only have two piles of sweaters. I had three before and they were pretty filled all the way to the top. And I had like one pile of sweatpants. That is all gone. I decided that Renee can put his clothes up here since there is space and I honestly don't mind but I'm so happy with the progress that I made and all the things that I'm going to be not letting go but putting away for the time being. Here's an update on what our den looks like. You can actually see the floor here. These boxes, at least these two, these big ones over here, we are going to be throwing out and then these boxes we need to find a home for. This bag over here, I need to find a bin for the rest of my clothes that are in here but we have cleared it out like like quite a bit this is basically empty we just have our stroller and our toolbox over here let me just move this aside but I need to go through all of this it's honestly just like a lot of miscellaneous items in here and down here although it's supposed to be empty there's just a few things that are in here so we've got some 
baby clothes over here, really just two, and a whole bunch of pregnancy stuff. But let me show you guys, oh my gosh, I swear I have like the best coworker. But I was going through a really rough week and she got me a little something for baby boy and it says congratulations on your baby boy and making it through the week. So cute. This is honestly the cutest onesie and it's a zip up onesie and it's a double zipper to make it easier to change diapers and whatever but that is what is in here and yeah then the rest is just renee's clothes which he is gonna have to find a new place for because once again we are getting rid of this dresser so this is everything that was in that one dresser it's actually not a lot but i guess it was just like not so organized look at our cake tasting menu I made this. I was very proud of it, but I don't know where to put it. So my problem is that I have my wedding things, our wedding things just like scattered around our condo, which is pretty bad, but I need to find a container to just put everything in and just label it wedding stuff or whatever, just so it's not scattered anywhere and I accidentally throw things out. I just need it in one place. So I was working on organizing everything that was in the dresser, but then realized I don't have a spot to put it in if it's not in that one dresser. So now I'm going through a whole bunch of things like cords and cables and all that stuff and trying to just organize things so I can fit all of those things in. This is what I am working on right now. I just emptied out this dresser over here i'm gonna organize everything and hopefully these things will fit in here and i just have to grab that out but i'm just a whole mess right now so i just went through my shoes well i did a while ago and they've just been sitting here the ones that i don't want anymore and i know i could sell them i could but I'm way too lazy to be going back and forth with someone and then after just like meeting up with someone just for not even like a hundred dollars so I am just gonna give it to my friends whoever wants them whoever fits into them they can have them for no cost at all so all I have to do is take pictures send it to whoever I think they will fit into and that's about it. The lighting is just atrocious here, but these are the shoes that I am willing to let go of. Those will keep. <laughs> Your name on us? You like those? I like those. We'll keep that. I considered it, but I like those. Katrina's. Katrina's. Mm. What size are those? Convert that? Eight and a half. Oh, right. Because, no, they definitely fit you. Yeah, those fit me. Got those in like a big size. Keep. Yeah. No, I like those. Okay. Keep. Seven and a half, yeah. Seven and a half, yeah. Keep. Okay. I guess I'm only getting rid of just one extra yeah. shoe. Just these ones. So what would you rather That's have? That's it. There. And these ones I'm keeping. Yeah. So we're switching over some of my shoes that were on this side of the closet over here. Just so I can see them more often and better. So I can actually wear them because honestly, I forgot about all of that. And then we have more of my shoes just on that top rack. And the gray ones, these are mostly just like 990s, I believe, are they? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to put up there as well, just so I can use them more often and not forget about them either. So I'm throwing these bad boys out because I've completely destroyed them, but they've lasted me two years. And I'm also throwing out these ones as well. These two just have no chance of surviving anymore. I'm bringing a whole bunch of stuff to our parents' place. This is what I'm holding. Renee's got that, and we already got some things in the car. It's like we're moving all over again. I'm probably gonna clean off camera, but this is a whole mess. We just went to the dentist and received all of this. This is 
my side and it's just a whole mess once again and then we have a bin of things which clearly you can tell i haven't been keeping up with it this side is renee's side but i'm not gonna open it up and then all of this ask me if i use half of these things so much better it just seems more clean more minimal i threw out a whole bunch of stuff in here once again, so much better and more organized. And then in here, it is way more organized. I honestly think I have the best husband because what was supposed to be a week of me decluttering, I had to take so many breaks. And honestly, I've taken a break for probably like two days now just from cleaning, decluttering, and all that stuff because carpal tunnel is just apparently my life now. And I have to take so many breaks because legit, four out of the five fingers on my right hand are freaking numb. It's actually crazy. I didn't realize how bad carpal tunnel could be. And it really has just taken over my life. But thank goodness for my husband who has taken over he's taking the initiative to continue the decluttering and our den looks so good our den has never been this clear to a point where like we can go into the den and it feels like there's an echo that is how empty it is right now so i want to show you guys what my husband has done because i'm just so proud of him and i'm happy to call him my husband because he's just honestly the most helpful person. So here is the den now. Once again, the cleanest and the most decluttered it's ever been. But here it is. I can't wait till all of this is gone. This is going to be completely gone by the time baby comes. But we just have nowhere to put it right now. But it's still the cleanest it has ever been the last time i showed you guys this dresser everything was just bunched up in these two dressers but renee went out of his way to organize things a little bit better so now we have baby boys clothes in here we do have newborn diapers in here just a few of them because i came from our friend vanessa and then we have some mitts for when he scratches himself i do call them finger jail so that is all here. In here, we have his shoes. We also have his jelly cat bunny in here. And just <laughs> randomly some breast milk storage bags that my friend Vanessa has given us. And then in here, this is just a whole bunch of pregnancy stuff just random things honestly and i want to show you guys this my friend kayla got me this as a present which is so cute because she knows i love giraffes and she was like okay this is too cute i have to get celeste this and then she also got me some swaddle blankets in colors that i like so she obviously knows me best and she knows that i am just in love with this gift and then in here it is empty but we do plan on getting rid of this dresser we're gonna give it to my parents and we're gonna get a new dresser for our baby boy i honestly wanted to start cleaning the kitchen and decluttering and organizing but once again this hand, my right hand, my carpal tunnel hand is just not having it. So it's just not going to happen this week or probably anytime soon. But eventually I will get to it. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoy and we will see you in the next vlog. Bye guys.